Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to create a very basic, simple network map using Lucidchart. So the first thing that you have to do here is I've just started on a blank new document. Now I've got all my networking uh, icons and components already uh, built in, but if you don't have it, you need to go to more shapes. And then what you need to look for is Cisco as well as network infrastructure. Once you have that, then you should get access to all of these uh, things. Now what we're gonna be creating is we are going to be creating a very simple star topology. And when we look at a star topology, it basically means that all the nodes will connect to this main switch. And so when we talk about what is a node on a network, basically a node is anything that's actually connected to the network. It could be a workstation, it could be a printer, it could be a server, etc. So in this case, I'm gonna have multiple PCs on my network. So all I'm doing to duplicate those PCs is holding option on my Mac and I can easily drag them around. I'm also going to add, let's say a server of some kind. So maybe a file server or something like that. And I'm also going to maybe add a printer so now we have the basis for our star topology. Now you can't leave it like this because every device needs to be renamed correctly as well as signed an IP address. And if you don't like where the text actually is, you can actually just delete the text and then you can just write, you know, whatever you want to call this. So I'm gonna be calling this uh, switch 01 and maybe I'm just gonna put it up in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also have a router in here as well. And that router is going to enable us to connect to the internet. So this is going to be the internet over there. And then we're gonna connect to the router, which includes a modem. So in some cases, you don't actually have to put in the modem if you don't want, because the router, you know, can do that job as well. The router has a built-in modem and gateway. So what well, once we've got that, then all we have to do is assign the IP addresses. All right, so I'm just gonna put the router over here and I'll just call it router01 and I'll call it slash modem slash uh, gateway. And if you wanna change the size of the font or anything like that, you can just do that up here just so it fits in nicely. So now I'll show you how to do the connections. Now you can change the line options as well. So I would always prefer that you used curve lines. All right, and then on the endpoints, I would probably like that you set them both to none, or if you really want the arrows, you have to set them to having arrows that go both way that show um, two-way communication here. So here we have the arrow, and what we're gonna do is, I'm just going to change both sides to none, all right? And then I'm just gonna set it up from the internet cloud to our router. So that's gonna be the first connection. And what's cool is now you can move it around, you know, you can make it fit to wherever you like. And then all you have to do is you can just copy that. So you can just press Command C and then Command V. And then what you can do is you can just connect it to each of those areas that you want to uh, connect the things to. So what you need to do is you need to worry about now where you're gonna put all of your text and things like that. And you have to remember that you are also going to be having well, you also have to put an IP address in there. So I'm just gonna quickly go and show you what that looks like, you know, all set up, just like that. And if you need to move any of those items around, you can. Cool, so now once you have all that, then the next thing that you need to do is you need to assign the IP addresses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy uh, this uh, text box and I'm going to add the IP addresses here. So the first one is going to be your main one. So this is gonna be 192.168.0.1. And this has to be your main, you know, router device that, you know, kind of connects from the internet. Then once you have that, then you can do another low level, uh, you know, device would be the switch. Now, just to be safe, what you can do is you can just set this as, you know, maybe maybe start that from five. So this will be 192.168.0.5. And then what you can do is you can just, you know, put it 
wherever you like you know maybe something like that and then we can label the rest of the devices as well so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to hold option and i'm going to bring that down now again just to be safe i'm just going to start this at probably maybe even like 20 and then i'm just going to keep on uh repeating that so this will be 21 this will be uh 22 this will be 23 this will be 24 uh, this will be 25 but all of these pcs need to be labeled as well so if you want to follow this uh, naming scheme you can so pc1 pc2 pc3 you can do any naming scheme that you want but they all have to be unique same with the printer you know we can keep that going printer 01 and then we can call this maybe a file server um you know one as well and then if we're following that system maybe we can even do it for the switch as well cool so now once you've got that then you can add you know other devices for example like firewalls and things like that so firewalls are very important but now you also have to make sure that you label them so it's probably a good idea to put a firewall maybe there before your internal network starts as well as you know maybe even in between the router and the modem uh, and the switch as well so totally up to you where you put all these devices but on a basic level that's how you create a very simple and basic network diagram with ip addresses and yeah you will need to show all of the devices that have a unique name so anyways guys i uh, hope you learned something thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time